We are set now to begin our quarterfinal battles, and the first battle of the night is going to get underway in just a moment with Siyoshi Nakasaka and Mark Selby. One young warrior is finally stepping onto the international stage. Tsuyoshi Nakasako. His frame belies his heritage, but each of his punches carries the weight of generations of karate tradition. From the land of the rising sun comes this young samurai who already has an impressive career, but no major titles to show for it. Desperate to beat rival Musashi in the race to have a Japanese K1 champion, Nakasaka was focused as never before. <laughs> A true Japanese warrior with his sights set on the U.S. crown. Welcome a new rising star of American K-1 fighting. Mark Selby stands before a huge opportunity. 22 wins, no losses. He is a fighter who has earned numerous American titles in Taekwondo and kickboxing. Today, with his first K-1 fight pending, Selby is anxious to grab this chance and make the most of it. Um, I want to prove to everyone that I'm an excellent fighter, but also it's important to me because I know my mom is going to be watching, that I better act like a gentleman and uh, show good sportsmanship uh, while being a good warrior. Mark Selby is primed and ready to leave his mark on K-1. Mark Selby versus Siyoshi Nakasako. to the Bellagio Las Vegas as it's time for the Fields K-1 World Grand Prix 2005 in Las Vegas. Well, fans, we are ready for the opening round of our tournament. Prepare to welcome the fighters as they make their way to the ring for this battle at Bellagio 4. First, ladies and gentlemen, joining us to the blue corner, please welcome Tsuyoshi Nakasako. Get it go, go, uh, just move it to the music, it's on to the sounds of 50 and D.R.E. Everything's calculated and time precise, never move another mill, let's get right, aight? Success is my drug of choice, my off life, feeling lucky enough to bet it all on the dice. Shorty, do what you want to do, hit the dance floor, move how you want to move, later on. And now making his way to the ring, ladies and gentlemen, to the red corner, Mark Selby.
All right, fans, here we go with our first quarter final bout coming away. Scheduled three three minute rounds of action. K1 rules apply with our referee in charge of this bout, Steve Mazzagotti. Introducing to you first on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing blue uh, trunks, and joining us from Osaka, Japan. He stands at six feet three inches and weighed in at two. 216 pounds, a veteran of 36 bouts. His record stands at 16 wins, 19 losses, one draw, with six wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the two time K1 Japan Grand Prix finalist, introducing Suyoshi Nakasako. And his opponent across the ring, ready to go on my left, out of the red corner. He is wearing silver trunks with black trim, fighting out of Atlanta, Georgia, by way of Topeka, Kansas. He stands at six feet five inches and weighed in at 222 pounds, undefeated in his campaign to the ring with 20 wins, no losses, 12 wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the undefeated IKF World Super Heavyweight Full Contact Kickboxing Champion, introducing Mark Selby. Once again, it's Steve Mazzagotti, our referee in charge, now to give instructions. Gentlemen, we went over the rules. Give us all a good, clean, fair fight. Obey my commands. Protect yourself at all times. Hook them up, gentlemen. Good luck. We are just about set now for our first quarterfinal at this battle at Bellagio. Four, one note for you. That man, Mark Selby. It's tough for any fighter to come in here and fight in this tournament, but Selby is taking the place of a very popular Michael McDonald, the defending champion who had a training injury and could not fight tonight. So it's Mark Selby on, and Yoshi Nakasako. Tough to step in at the last moment, huh, Ray Seppo? Absolutely, no, but uh, break, break, it looks break, like break, Mark break. is doing what he told me a few days ago, that when the bell went, he was going go to was gonna go to war. So he's doing exactly that right now. Selby in the silver trunks, a Japanese fighter from Osaka. Nakasako in the blue trunks, and both fighters very active here in the first half minute. Three three-minute rounds. They each fight like they've already uh, read the book on each other. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, Nakasaku uh, also brings a lot of experience in the ring. He's fought some big names. And uh, Mark Shelby is obviously looking to uh, prove, prove him wrong. And uh, he's taking a fight to him. We are sitting right next to the blue corner, so anytime Nakasaka scores, you're going to hear the cheering section go crazy. And right now, Nakasaka in trouble, backed into the corner. Mark Selby peppering away. Break, break, clean. Fight. Not allowed damage done, though, right? No, uh, Nakasaka just walked out of the red corner and uh, shook his head and left, kind of more like smiling at him. It's got to draw confidence from that. I'm actually expecting some fancy kicks from Mark Shelby because he has a uh, tight one background. And here comes Watch the punches from Selby. And he tried the axe kick. There goes the axe kick. Break, break clean. Break clean. As if on Fight. cue. Mark <laughs> Selby. He must have heard me. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'd listen to you if I was a fighter. <laughs> Nakasako beginning to kick and kick low. I think he's going to find some action down there. It's a success down low. That's not a knockdown. Nakasako goes down. That's a light slip. He's landed three or four times with that leg kick to Selby. One knee. Selby high stepping his one way. One clinch, in. one knee, right? Selby's uh, left leg is starting to uh, look red there at the moment. So. I think Nakasako's going to fall. Watch that head when you're holding knee. it. Don't knee him in the head while you're holding him. A reported spin move there by Selby. Oh, anytime a fighter covers and flinches like that, you know he may have been stung by a previous technique. 
Again, Nakasako goes low with the kick, working on that left leg of the American, Mark Selby from Atlanta, Georgia. Time. End of round number one. A very active one for both fighters. I'm not sure that Nakasako did too much damage. You understand, but, uh, you're coming close to kneeing him in the, the face. Back. His back legs uh, also is uh, right. Take a look at some of the rules you see. Three three-minute rounds. Two knockdown rule in effect for the quarters and semis. It'll take three knockdown rules for the final. No standing eight count. One would be good. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that. <laughs> a bit biased your your kick. <laughs> you can't pull him. You got to the turn corner with Mark help. Selby. Your right what do they have to be the telling their fighter right now, right? You're not jabbing again, Wally. When you start jabbing, Wally, you get in the way. Now you start walking until you get comfortable. And I think that's what he needs to do with him again. Look at his side leg. You punch that hard right hand. Well, you get inside, so you get punches. You're hitting hard. Hand, hand. Up to the top of that foot. I'm sure they're telling him to go out there and keep the pressure on. He's got more control with that knee. Nakasako, a very active fighter. He had fought five times last year, maybe his most famous fight so far of his career. He was on the really the short end of the stick in Bob Sapp's debut, I believe it was. He was hammered by Bob Sapp. Nakasako ended up getting the win, but I don't think he felt like it. As Bob Sapp was disqualified enough for throwing every illegal punch I think that was ever written. I know what that's all about. <laughs> <laughs> Round number two. There you go again. Yeah, Nakasaka's yeah. actually chopping away at that front leg. Nakasaka, I think, the more effective fighter through round one. As we begin now, round number two. Scheduled for three. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Stop, stop. Break clean, guys. Nakasaka found Come success on, going down low with that leg kick. On Selby, he's going right back to it now, right? Right. Uh, you know, he's gone there five times already. He's doing it again. And that's exactly where he wants to keep uh, hammering away because eventually when that leg starts to hurt, he's going to come back upstairs and uh, I probably hurt him upstairs as well. And Selby is, uh, I'll try to be kind, but his, his legs aren't like the tree trunks that we're used to seeing in the heavyweight division. Well, he actually has very skinny legs. Ooh, that was very close to being elbow. Uh, do not turn your back on your opponent. Watch those elbows on those spins. The referee's <laughs> calling it right now. Everybody's listening to you today. <laughs> Steve Mazzagatti with the warning. And this is classic kickboxing, just to go down to that leg time and time again. There goes the X kick again. But Mark is definitely doing damage to that front Don't leg. Don't hold the rope. Don't hold the rope. Right now, I think Mark Shelby should be uh, thinking about blocking some of those kicks. Selby also at the disadvantage, probably not understanding what Nakasako's corner is yelling out to their man. Right, that's correct. There goes another leg kick again. And from where we're sitting, it's looking rather red. Uh, it's looking very raw. And those techniques are going to pay full dividends, I think, in round three. Right. Break, break clean, guys. Break clean. Fight. So far, Nakasako, I don't think, has been hurt in this fight. That's exactly what Mark Shelby needs to do, is, keep, is just keep flooring with his hands, working his jab, sticking and moving, and just attack on the move. Maybe the only benefit for either one of these fighters to go through is they're going to have the longest rest period. He must have hurt me again because uh, he went on the move and then he tried to kick. <laughs> the end of round number two, a very successful one once again for Yoshi Nakasako and a lot of work to be done in the corner for Selby. I don't know if they've got any medicine for that knee between rounds. Right oh, yeah, the right kick kicking your body, Gotti. His left side's hurting too. Look at me, looking for him. Okay. And as we see it right here, he's trying to he's he's taking that jab, down, gentlemen. chomping away at the front leg, and uh, I think Mark's starting to feel that. Yeah. Last round, uh, right now, I think this corner should be putting eyes on that leg. Now,
when you're the fighter on the receiving end, which part of the leg are you feeling it on? Are you feeling it on the, the back, lower part of that hamstring or that nerve on the side of the knee? Maybe on your thigh, but uh, you know, when, after a few kicks, you feel it right through your whole leg. Okay, so it works its way through every muscle. Exactly. And, and, and is it just a, a powerless feeling to be able to try to put weight on that and not be able to support it? Well, that's right at the moment, he's probably, you know, the drill is still going, so he's uh, not feeling it as much after the, con the contact, but uh, you know, as soon as he sits in the corner, he's going to feel that. Right, and so maybe it's tightened up a little bit, a right. chance for that pain now to work its way through. Yeah. Again, third round could be critical for that. Exactly. Well, Mark Selby has been told to be more active, I believe, because he has come out here in the third round very strong. He's throwing very good uh, lifts and rights down the middle, and uh, it's, it's landing for him, it's going for him. As long as that left leg is kicking, it cannot be kicked. <laughs> break, break clean. Mark Selby, Fight. a late fill-in for Michael McDonald in the silver tank, taking on Tsuyoshi Nakasaka. I guess I've got to be clean, careful there on the inside because that uh, Max Shelby can throw that leg really high. So he's trying to get the first technique off. That almost looked low there. Selby protecting that left leg now. Yeah. Right. That one was low. That was definitely done. Yeah. And the previous one may have been low, and the cumulative effects caught up with Nakasako. But as I was mentioning, any time that Nakasako gets close to Selby right now, Selby flexing that left leg, maybe throwing a technique just to protect it from being kicked. You ready? Selby, let's go. And the heel maybe got solar plexus or bread basket. But yeah, that was right. Yeah, that was definitely low. All right, they're back to action now. Third round scheduled for three. The ring. Judges certainly have the option to call for another round. And that would be murder on these guys right now to open the quarterfinal with four rounds. Well, this is right. I think uh, right now the uh, Nakasaka's corner is just telling him to just, you know, go out there and just throw everything. Now, you speak Japanese somewhat. I understand, understand a little bit. Yeah, get around. So uh, let us know if you hear anything from that corner uh, <laughs> worthwhile. Well, they actually keep telling him to kick the kick low and, you know, where's the jab and fire the low kick. Shelby right now is just really effective when he goes back to his hands when he's back to the back Don't hold the ropes, okay? Fight! A thunderous roundhouse kick from Selby. Caught the rib cage of Nakasako. And Nakasako comes right back with the lick again. Yeah. Here we go again. Selby's got to stay away from that spin move. It's just too slow and, and he's not ready for it when he comes around. Right. the end of round number three the best one for Selby but I don't think it's enough but was there a convincing win in the eyes of the judges well it is a very tough fight to call because they're both one is pressing the action the other one is countering uh, it's still on the move but still countering all right action from that third round take us through it well that was a good right How do you kick feel? to the body you go another round and then, if you yeah, had to yeah, yeah. 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 Right. Low kick. Selby quit on that right right how's he feel can he continue if he has here to? we go again no catching catch the same spot that he's good? been looking for okay. uh the last two rounds Corey, both Siyoshi Nakasako into his corner now a bit pain that was a tough fight for both of these men but one of them will move through to the semifinals and take on the winner of Sean O'Hare and Gary Goodrich. That's the next quarterfinal coming your way. They're big bombers. Wow, these guys are hurting. Gentlemen, do you think about the ensuing quarterfinal, semifinal rounds good after fight, this? Guys, think, oh, I gotta fight, get man. through this. Well, hang on a second. Let's get Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we have a unanimous decision. Here are the score totals. Judge at ringside, Adelaide Bird scores about 30 to 27.5.
Judges Dalby Shirley and Sal D'Amato both scores about the same at 30 to 27. All three in favor of the winner. And continuing to the semifinals, Mark Selby. Well, that's a stunner. I'm it's sorry. Right over here, brother. Oh, I agree with you there. Um, but then again, you know, Mark was busy upstairs with his hands. Um, I know Nakasaka scored a lot more with the low kicks. But, you know, we got three judges out there, and it's... Uh, They're professionals at what they do. They saw a lot more exactly, than we did. Exactly. So Mark Selby moves through to the semifinal. Well, Mark